Hey guys, Andrew Beckford here at a top secret Toyota warehouse somewhere in Southern California. Now at this warehouse, Toyota likes to keep production cars, pre-production cars, press vehicles, and cars like the Lexus LC500 Coupe you see behind me. This car in particular was a collaboration between Lexus USA and Marvel Studios for Black Panther. They sent a bone stock Lexus LC500 off to West Coast Customs and told them to theme it as closely as possible to the film. Now this car wasn't actually in the movie. Fun fact though, the car that was in the movie in the car, the car chase scene where the Black Panther riding on top of the hood and grabbing it and making it turn along the ground as he dug his claws into the concrete, that car is actually inside the warehouse uh, surrounded by a bunch of other stock cars and they repaired all the damage to it. It actually had a massive dent and stuff. But this is not like, uh, this is not that car. This car was actually touring uh, around the country. It even went to the Long Beach Grand Prix as sort of a promotional vehicle to promote Lexus and the movie. Uh, why don't we take a closer look and see what West Coast Customs did to kind of theme and Lexus LC500 stock to something that T'Challa himself would, might drive. Now, one of the first things you're gonna notice when looking at the Black Panther Lexus LC is the paint job. It's an onyx blue paint, but LeBlesque Coast Customs did some kind of weird technique to get this marbling effect, which is supposed to sort of emulate the texture of vibranium, which is a, a mythical metal used in Wakanda, the fictional country which T'Challa, Black Panther, comes from, that powers all of their technology. If from far away, it just looks like a really stark blue, but when you get up close and see the texture, it really sort of stands out. And then in case you really weren't sure that this was a Black Panther vehicle, you had the Black Panther helmet right here on the hood, taking up almost the whole thing. Uh, pretty obvious. One other thing to note is that the Black Panther helmet on the hood is actually hand painted, and they even hand painted the Lexus logo in the front to match the color scheme and to kind of give it a brushed metal vibranium kind of look. When it comes to the exterior body modification, there isn't a whole lot done, but it's all done in sort of the right places. There's a subtle front lip, a rear diffuser, and to sort of tie the theme in, there's panther claws on the side view mirrors and panther claw-like strakes on the front fender uh, vents and in the rear. At each of the four corners is a set of custom 22-inch Ford's Lexani wheels wrapped in Lionheart rubber, which is so thin I'm pretty sure the Black Panther can feel it every time he runs over a leaf. So when it comes to the interior, most of the major modifications revolve around custom upholstery. There is Alcantara everywhere. I mean everywhere. The A-pillars, the headliner Alcantara, even the visors Alcantara. There's blue Alcantara suede uh, uh, panels in each of the doors. And then to offset the black leather, uh, there's blue stitching, which matches the blue paneling in the door, which matches the exterior paint job. And then to really tie the theme together even more, there's three canisters of vibranium in the back, although I probably wasn't supposed to see that. Uh, other than that, it's your typical high-end luxury Lexus interior. There's leather everywhere. The seats feel really cushy. Uh, the seats also have the blue stitching in them as well. Uh, nothing in this car is analog. There's no uh, needles. Everything is digital, including the gauge, which is a multi-function gauge that can show everything from speed, uh, engine revolutions, attack, and then there's uh, another secondary screen in the middle of the dash, which is where your navigation and infotainment is. Uh, but altogether, it's a really comfortable car. There are back seats, but uh, unless you're a child, they're not really meant for you. <laughs> but other than that, this is a pretty dope car. I can easily see uh, T'Challa the Black Panther rolling around Wakanda in one of these. Oh, and before I forget, even though they didn't do any uh, engine modifications to this car, it still sounds like a beast. Check this out. I better stop before I get in trouble. Sounds awesome though, right? Purrs like a panther, huh? Get it? See what I did there? Purrs, black panther, yeah, no, okay. 
So there you have it. This is the Black Panther Lexus LC500. I want to give a big thanks to Lexus USA and Toyota USA for inviting me out to the Top Seeker Warehouse to spend a little time with the car. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to this channel. And if you're already subscribed, hit that bell so you're notified whenever we upload a new video. We have a bunch of videos coming up soon from E3 2018 where we're going to be covering all the new racing games coming out. Anyway, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.